Well, today is National Sour Bread Day. We're joined by Chicago Bakery that's been serving loyal customers for more than 20 years. And joining us from Delightful Pastries is Chef Dobro Bielinski. Now, for those who aren't familiar, tell me a little bit about uh, Delightful Pastries. So we've been in business for 26 years. Okay. Uh, me and my mom, we started it. And it's been a journey. I've been developing as a chef, developing my palate. And I've landed up on sourdough breads. Sourdough breads are amazing because they help you digest better. They're Ooh. pre, uh, they're not probiotics, they're prebiotics. So they help you with the good bacteria in your intestines. And also they help to regulate your sugar levels. So that's what makes them so fabulous. Uh -huh. And You're here- You're gonna walk us through how to make the perfect loaf? Yes, I've got some perfect loaf. I'm gonna show you okay. her, first how to make a starter. So I'm gonna take some of this. I'm so gonna, what was that? You just put water in yes, first? Yes, yeah. Just I have regular a, water, nothing just, in it? No, regular water, nothing in it. I'm gonna have you start stirring. I'm just okay. gonna do half this batch. And then once you stir this up, I'm Put gonna have water. you add the flour. Okay. And I'm gonna, <laughs> and you're gonna be stirring, stirring, and then we're gonna start adding some flour. And I'm gonna show people how to shape bread. Okay. And I, while I'm shaping bread, I'm gonna talk about the wonderful breads I brought. I yes. brought a roasted potato onion bread. Is that the one on the far left? Uh, that's on the far oh, right. Oh, right, far right. Okay, we're starting here. And then we've got our seeded sourdough bread with flax seeds, sesame seeds, and sunflower seeds. And what's mm -hmm. made Amazing is I soak everything and I use the soaking water. You know, it gets like it gets gloopy. When you oh, say soak, soaking, soaking like in this water here? Uh, no, separate water. Okay. You soak it and then you I use it, kind of becomes gelatinous, and I pour everything back in because all the good stuff leaches into the water. And I use it all in my sourdough. Is and my form okay here? With your this? form is okay. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have to like put some muscle into okay. it. You're gonna have to really, really shape it. And here I'm gonna show our viewing, lovely viewing audience how to shape bread. So as you can see. I've got my round loaf. I'm just using the palm of my hand to kind of shape it. You can it, be shape rough it. with it, right? Yeah, you can kind of beat it up a little bit. And then on the final shaping, it's like a football. So if you're, okay. if you, if you, if so you yeah, watch. Is there a certain shape that you want to get it to? Yes, so this is like a kind of like a footballish shape, I guess, yep. a little bit fatter in the middle <laughs> okay. and then a little bit, uh, you know, edged. And if you want to make it look perfect, you can kind of shape it like this. And you got one beautiful loaf. And here, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna be very rough with this one. Yes. We're gonna go bang, bang, bang. If you're having okay. a bad day, this is, this <laughs> Stick is. Stick out this your frustrations is, on the bread. Yeah, if somebody sticks you off, and then now we're flattening it out. I put both sides together. Let me move this out of the way. So now we have a beautiful, almost like a rectangular shape. And then we're rolling it up, and then the heel of our hands, heel mm -hmm. of our hands, heel of our hands, boom. And see, we got the perfect Ooh, loaf. Perfect roll, okay, yeah, so right. what happens then? All right, here, I'm gonna, and then we just, basically we proof it, we put it in a proofer. What does proof mean? It means you've got steam and heat coming, uh, you know, in the box at home. You would turn on the oven, turn it off, cover it up, and let it sit in a nice, warm, moist place. And now we're gonna, okay. I need some help. Yeah, um, <laughs> you, you hold the bowl. Okay. We're gonna, I don't wanna splatter you. Yeah, okay. I was trying not you know to what? splatter. You know what, let me just put this maybe over okay. here. I got the chef's jacket on. So what sides, I guess, go best with sourdough? We got like some apricot spread here, yeah, we yeah. got some butter, we got some prosciutto, cheese. I what should people be pairing their sourdough bread so, with? So the, the seeded sourdough bread would go well with jam. It would go well with like a salted butter, a prosciutto, some Jarlsberg cheese or manchego, you pick. Okay. The, um, the, our holiday bread, which is full of... Uh, that's this one here? Uh, that's actually, that's our gluten-free bread. See all okay. the seeds and nuts? Do you, are you a seed and nut person? It's yeah. got almonds, it has no gluten. That would go well with the this salted butter. This feels like a breakfast, because it has like berries or something in it? You know what, what? so this has uh, walnuts, pecans, right. dried cranberries, dried sour cherries and raisins. It has whole rye flour, whole wheat flour, mm -hmm. rice sourdough, and wheat sourdough. And it's amazing because it goes well with like a charcuterie plate. You know, ah. for example, we do cheese platters for people for when they're having mm -hmm. a party. I mean, of course, then we have a lot what more cheese. What should I try? I would try the, uh, I would try the holiday bread, that's the one with all the nuts over here. Okay. And I would put a little bit of cheese in there. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese and try it together. And the next one we're gonna try is the roasted potato well, we onion bread. We only got about 30 seconds left. So okay, let's. Try this one. Okay, try this one. How action? long is it gonna have to bake? So this bread takes about 35 to 40 minutes to bake. At what? At, at 450 what? degrees. 450 degrees. So 
I'm just going to go quickly over the starter. So we've got uh, 300 grams of uh, flour, 375 grams of water, Very and we nice. have 200 grams of starter. So we mix everything together. I'll be uh, posting up some recipes for starters so people know Where what to do. Where can people post and uh, learn more about you guys? www.delightfulpastries.com and we'll be happy to share any recipes. They can contact us as, at info at delightfulpastries.com. If you're looking for delicious bread, healthy bread like our gluten-free bread or you know our delicious breads that go yeah. with charcuterie platters then you come and see me because we've got we've got the bread yeah, we've the got stuff. the dough people we've <laughs> got the dough 